hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make stitches. Okay, so I filmed this earlier, but the beginning was not recorded, so I'm just gonna record it again. Okay, I'm gonna take some spirit gum, which is an adhesive. You can use that, or you can use eyelash glue. I'm gonna put that onto my hand, so put it wherever you want the wound to be. Wait a few seconds till it's tacky. Now I'm going to take some moldable wax and apply that where I put the, um, where I want the wound to be. I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to blend in the edges into my skin. So I'm making two wounds today, a fresh one and one that's healing. Once that, um, once you have the edges blended into your skin, you want to get some lotion and then put it onto the wax and then I'm just going to smooth it over. If you put too much, then just dab off the excess. Okay, so now I'm going to take the end of my spatula and I'm going to make cuts. Now I'm just going to go in with my spatula and open it a little bit. Okay, so now, once you have that done, get some foundation and you can go over the wax so it blends into your skin. If the wax is a little bit too smooth, you can make little uh, lines in the wax so it blends into your skin. Okay, so now I'm going to take some translucent powder and I'm just going to go over that a little bit. Now I'm going to take some red grease paint and the one I'm using is by Ben Nye but you can use um, like a cream red eyeshadow or something, anything that's red. And for this one, this is the healing one, so usually when a wound heals, it's not as red, it's more of a brownish color. So I'm going to take a brown foundation and just go in with the brown. So for the fresh cut, I'm going to take some matte red eyeshadow. I'm just going to put that around the wound 
to give it a little bit of redness. And then with the one that's healing, I'm going to put on some yellow grease paint. The one that I'm using is by Ben Nye, this color wheel right here. And I'm just going to randomly put that around it. Because when... Um, a bruise is healing, it's a little bit yellowish and green. Okay, so now for the stitches. I prepared some spake stitches with thread, black thread. And what I did is just tie a whole bunch of knots, just like that. And I made quite a few of them. So you'll want to do that. Um, I'm going to be handling them with tweezers because it's much easier that way. So I'll take the stitch and then I'm going to dip it into some adhesive. I'm just going to apply that onto the wound. So just press it down into the wax so it looks like it's actually sewn in. They don't have to be all in knots, but just make some with knots. This one doesn't have a knot. Okay, so I finished gluing the stitches on this wound. So that's what it looks like now. I'm going to do this one, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so almost done. I'm just going to take some fake blood, and with the tip of my spatula, I'm just going to dot on some blood onto the ends of the stitches. Not all of them, but some. And there you go. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.